think hopefully that's big enough for the bolt. I don't want to make it too big. This is what we got. Something that I should have got a long time ago were AeroCatch hood pins. I got this on Amazon, so link in the description below. They're like, I don't know, about 60 bucks or so. Hood's officially ruined, but for a good reason. So I don't want to get slapped in the face with carbon fiber. Not having hood pins, you know, we've all heard horror stories. You know, you have the potential not only to just damage your windshield, the hood itself, um, the fenders could be damaged, uh, the top of the roof could be damaged. I mean, you're talking about a lot of money that this hood can cause if it were, if that latch were to fail. And I'm gonna show you the latch uh, in just a moment when I get the camera point up there and why I don't trust it. Luckily, it's held up for about 40,000 miles. Like I said before, this job is never fun. So what I did was just attach the hood pin to the radiator support right here. And I just dabbed on top uh, just a little bit of metal polish. You can use anything such as grease or so, something that will transfer over to the hood so that you will know exactly where to drill. Hopefully this transfers over. Let's see if it did. Yep, sure did. So that is where I'm going to drill. So got my dab of metal polish right there. Before I do that, let's cover up the engine bay. The air filter's right below that. Just keep all those dust particles out of here. Ain't going back now. Just test out the hole. Okay, so hole was slightly a bit off, but that's okay, we can manage that. So I'm gonna drill a bigger hole in just a minute. But first, need to cover this up with tape so that I can mark where I'm going to line out the hood pin with a marker. Also, when you're doing this job, just know that this fiberglass, these fiberglass particles are just gonna get everywhere. I mean, your engine bay is probably gonna need to be cleaned. Uh, the exterior of the car is gonna be fiberglass dust everywhere. I got my respirator on, that's why audio sounds weird. Okay, so now we have a good idea of where the hood pin is going to sit. Now, I can go ahead and drill, or mark an outline for the actual hood pin itself. That's good.
everywhere. Oh my God, look at all this dust. That's why you wear a respirator. I'm almost spot on. <clears throat> well, actually, no, I'm not. Just a little bit off, but that's okay. I'm gonna drill this out a little bit because it's hitting this part right here. That's super easy. The only, th the only thing, this is angled this way and the hood is angled that way. So you're not gonna be able to get it just right. You have to do a slight modification. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. All right, cool. So now we can drill out the holes for the mounting plate. All right, so we have six holes that we have to drill. This bracket right here goes under the hood and actually supports this part. So other than that, I think we're almost done. Not bad for an hour's job. So reason why we have this blue tape on there as you can saw, um, the reason why I put this blue tape when I was trimming this out, if I didn't have this blue tape, I probably would have scratched this area right here. So it's always a good precaution. And this right here is just a simple paint pin. Oops, got some on the hood pin. Oh well, that's okay. So now we can mount up the actual hood pin itself. I'm gonna take this tape off. All this stuff is gonna have to be washed off. You wanna keep all that fiberglass on there. It looks ugly. Don't worry about the yellow part that's gonna be covered up by the uh, hardware. Simply what you do, you got this little nut right here you just stick it in there, which is pretty cool, kind of holds it in place. And then you can go ahead and get this from the top. So we're gonna test one out. So, just know you're gonna get covered up with fiberglass dust, gonna get in your hair, it's just gonna get in your engine bay. Did I say that already? Yeah, be prepared to take a nice good shower. Wait a minute. There's one part I have to trim out real quick. Okay, got all these tightened up. And I think we should be good to go. I think we are done. Okay, so just a quick demonstration of the hood pins. So first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna pop the hood. And then you're gonna take this little latch, pop it up, latch, pop it up, and your hood should pop up just like that. And there you go. Oh man, I just washed the car, so don't mind all that, all that, all that water and soap. But that's okay, it's not gonna hurt at all. So as you can see, the pins are right here. I still have to tighten this down a little bit more, and that's it. And if you want to close it, simply just close it normally, as you normally would. Lock it down and then lock the latch and you're good to go. So if you're interested in something like this, I have a link in the description below. I got this on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Got here in about a day, which is cool. Uh, just keep in mind, wear eye protection and a respirator because this fiberglass particles, I don't know, I'm not an expert. They said it's not good for your lungs. But anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your guys' viewership and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.